Okay guys, I don't know about you, but vanilla is basically my favorite note in perfume. I love the smell of vanilla and I have been on a search for just a really great vanilla. Prior to 2020, before my obsession with perfume collecting began, I had a signature fragrance, which was the Atelier Cologne, the Vanille, Vanille Incense. So that line, of course, they sell it at Sephora. It's pretty popular. That vanilla was a, a pretty vanilla slash kind of a spicy lime. And uh, I wore that for years and years. And that was really my only like one of two perfumes. Uh, it's it's pretty expensive for that particular cologne. It was 30 ml for $80 for a one ounce. But it really didn't have a lot of longevity. And I've actually stopped wearing it. But ever since then, I've been on the hunt for another perfect vanilla. So here we have two that I blind bought. And I want to share your thoughts my my thoughts with you just in case one of them might be right for you so uh these are really affordable too so uh great news all around all right let's get into it so first off uh let's let's go with uh this one la vanilla so uh la vanilla is uh from la vanilla the company and it's a clean company they have fragrance they also have clean deodorants as well as right here uh the body butter I blind bought this whole set, and I have to say, I, um, I, I love the, I love this this deodorant. I was a, I used to wear Native all the time, and I absolutely have now become a convert to this. Absolutely love it, and as well as the the hand cream, the body cream, absolutely love this, and they all smell very similar, so you can layer them. The vanilla itself is, uh, when I first spray it, it's it's actually a little you get a. A big dose of alcohol and it took me a while to warm up to this particular fragrance I had to keep spraying it and, and going back to it and smelling it and I realized that it smells like pure vanilla extract and the cooking extract and pure vanilla extract is not really like a sweet cakey vanilla you know it doesn't become a vanilla cake until it's baked <laughs> so uh, it's a little bit alcohol which you can also, if you open up a bottle of vanilla extract, it smells a little alcoholy, but but it's it's like a fresh vanilla. Uh, and uh, so that's how I would describe it. It's not particularly sweet for me. Uh, so this particular bottle is $48. It's a 1.7 ounce. It's a little over 50 ml. And uh, again, it smells like sort of, to me, pure vanilla extract. Uh, not as sweet as sometimes you think of a vanilla cupcake, not like that. Uh, so the pros are, you know, I like the bottle. The bottle is really kind of a nice bottle. The cap here is, um, it's a nice cap, you know, as far as a more affordable fragrance goes, but also, you know, the pro is that you could layer it if you want to, uh, and it all goes seamlessly together and it is sort of more of a fresh vanilla. So for $48, it's still, you know, it's very affordable um, compared to some other fragrances. Uh, and so that is a great option, especially with being sort of a clean company uh, with natural ingredients and no harsh chemicals. All right, so moving on, let's put this in the background for one second. And uh, this one here is an eau de toilette. It's Vanille by Outremer in Paris. Uh, this company is on Anthropology, and so that's where I purchased this, and I think it's sold out a lot, so it's very popular, and I can completely understand why. This bottle is a 1.6 ounce, 50 ml bottle. It was only $18. $18. Oh my god. Um, and the vanilla is a, it's, it smells like a vanilla cake. It's more sweet, and it's sort of like what you think of when you want that pure, sweet, just cupcake vanilla. Uh, that's what this is. And in comparison, it this one is more clean. It's more sort of a tinge of alcohol because it's like more vanilla extract, whereas this is more of a sweet vanilla cupcake. And I absolutely love it. It's more of a gourmand than, than this particular one in the back. Um, so, you know, the pros are the it's incredible value for your money. Uh, the bottle is really pretty. I love it's sort of an art deco design and really pretty. The only thing that I would say, also it's made in France, uh, is the cap is a little flimsy here. So, you know, you can see it's just very cheap, but for $18, that's fine. That's fine with me. It looks really pretty just, you know, on a dressing table. Uh, so this, 
I'm just so impressed with this. Now it's an eau de toilette, so I can picture this one I would have to reapply quite often throughout the day, uh, especially if I want to smell like vanilla, you know, more and more vanilla. Um, but you know, it's it's probably not gonna give you that longevity. It's more of a skin scent, but so is this one right here. Um, and you know, vanilla by itself is not particularly a beast in terms of projection, but um, you know, they're both they're both similar in, in terms of what you would expect for a projection in a vanilla where you have to get close to someone or their hair flips and you smell it. Um, but I can smell it on me as, as I can this one. Um, I have to say between the two of these, I, I prefer this one and it was only $18. I just, it's crazy. Uh, so I can see why it's sold out all the time on Anthropology, uh, and I am probably going to buy another backup bottle because it's so hard to find, but I'm so impressed with this. I absolutely love it. And it was $18. <laughs> so I'm kind of shocked. Um, anyway. All right. So that is, these are two great options. If you just want a simple vanilla, uh, $18, $48, and absolutely, you know, I like them both. Uh, and so I just think I may not repurchase this, but I will definitely repurchase the deodorant and the body cream. Uh, really, this is a great body cream. It absorbs really fast. It really seems to be hydrating. And this is just a, a fantastic for me. This works really great. And I love the smell, which is very clean and almost you know, just a vanilla smell that you barely smell. Uh, so there we have it. All right. Well, before I go, I want to remind everybody, Gucci is sitting in the background here because um, I am having a 100 subscriber celebration giveaway. So once I hit 100 subscribers, I will give away two uh, Gucci Memoir Rollerballs. This is a sort of a chamomile spa-like fragrance. And I will give away one to two lucky winners. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel, uh, like and comment on a video. Uh, you know, this one or going forward. Also, this started a few videos back, so I will be going back. And when I hit 100, anyone that has commented and is subscribed to my channel will be put into a drawing randomly and I will ship anywhere in the world. All right, so if you'd like to win that, please do that. And uh, even if you don't wanna win that, please hit like and subscribe. I would love for you to join this really super tiny fragrance community uh, that I just started a couple a year ago. So in any event, I uh, hope all is well. Have a great day and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye.